Hey, it's Mike Polarski, and, and I'm uh, looking at some propagation material here. Today's date is March 14, 2018, so it's relatively early in the season. Things are just starting to uh, grow, and so I'm out there digging and getting propagation material. So I've got 11 things on the table at the moment. I have a lot of, this is a marshmallow crown division. Here is a black cohosh uh, crown divisions. Here is the biggest, chunkiest things of all. These are the uh, Ella Campaign. See, they have all the nice buds and a bit of root. That's all it takes. Um, some are small, but... And then we have bone set. A little harder to get these divisions. So these are generally pretty big chunks here of... Uh, Eupatorium perfoliatum, and here are little volunteer baby, just one-year-old plants of blue vervain, verbena hastata. So, see there we have different sizes. So that's just a seed, volunteer seedling, and then uh, rhizome-wise, we have these bugleweed, lycopus. You can see there's a healthy bugger that really wants to grow. I can. Divide it, that will grow too. It's got sprouts. This is a chorus calamus, calamus root. And we just uh, divided these. You can see in some cases, uh, here's a cut end, but it's got nice tufts, growing tufts, a bit of root. These are all good to go. This is black Indian hemp, Applocinum cannabinum rhizomes, with the, uh, you know, the, the buds ready to go. You can see there's buds every little ways along the stem and then we have this is garlic chives it's used in Chinese med medicine and so every one of these will grow I have three in that clump garlic chives and you know so there's some of those this is peppermint rhizomes just plant those below the ground you can see lots of roots little babies point the babies up preferably when you're planting them and so this is uh there's a lot of peppermint here ready to go. And then the finally, last but not least, this is skullcap, uh, the uh, Scutellaria lateriflora. And it sends out rhizomes. Every plant last year made, oh, something like 100 rhizomes or maybe even more. <laughs> this, uh, and then you can see there's shoots ready to go. And then all these nodes here, see those little, those have little buds. Every one of those will grow, even if this is separated, for instance, without any green part. That will grow. It'll just take a little bit longer. So I like to plant them in the little trenches, kind of delicate job, and then get them in there. And leave these, in an ideal world, they'd be just below or just at the surface with this trailing along below ground. And I usually double up. So overlap halfway and then so you have a little bit extra material in that little trench. Three trenches to a bed and you'll have a lot of skull cap come up. This is this is hundreds of skull cap starts here. Okay, so you can do this at home too. So practice at home kids.